NASA says it just found a new planet. Shocking, right? Yeah, the James Webb Telescope spotted it just outside of our solar system. Far beyond the reaches of Earth's atmosphere, orbiting nearly a million miles away at the L2 Lagrange point, the James Webb Space Telescope has been quietly revolutionizing humanity's understanding of the cosmos. Designed to peer deeper into the universe than any previous instrument, it has already revealed breathtaking images of star nurseries, ancient galaxies, and the atmospheric compositions of distant exoplanets. But among all its discoveries, one particular observation has sent shockwaves through the scientific community, a detection so unimaginable, so fundamentally puzzling, that it threatens to reshape the very foundations of modern astrophysics. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The event began with what was supposed to be a routine deep field observation. Webb was directed to a seemingly unremarkable patch of sky, an area deliberately chosen for its emptiness to allow the telescope to peer as far into the universe's past as possible. What the infrared sensors captured, however, was anything but expected. In the depths of cosmic time, where scientists anticipated seeing the dim, scattered light of infant galaxies struggling to form only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, the telescope instead detected an object, enormous, luminous, and impossibly old. At first, the data seemed corrupted. The object exhibited characteristics of a fully mature galaxy, yet its redshift indicated it existed less than 300 million years after the Big Bang. This timing defies current cosmological models, which suggest galaxies of that scale should not have had enough time to form. It wasn't just the age or the size of the galaxy that left researchers stunned. It was its structure. This wasn't a chaotic collection of stars or primordial clouds collapsing under their own gravity. This was an organized system, complete with spiral arms and a dense, active galactic nucleus. Its spectral signature hinted at complex chemical elements, carbon, oxygen, even hints of silicon, elements forged in the hearts of stars that should not have existed so early in cosmic history. The implications were staggering. According to the standard model of cosmology, the universe experienced a period of rapid inflation moments after the Big Bang, followed by a gradual cooling and coalescing of matter. The first stars, population three stars made almost entirely of hydrogen and helium, should have formed around 400 million years post Big Bang, gradually giving rise to the first galaxies. Webb's discovery shattered this timeline. Not only did it reveal a galaxy with advanced structure, but its composition suggested that multiple generations of stars had already lived and died, dispersing heavier elements into the interstellar medium. That would mean a cosmological clock running far faster than previously believed, or that our understanding of time and matter formation in the early universe is fundamentally flawed. But the revelations didn't stop with one anomalous galaxy. In follow-up observations of adjacent regions, Webb identified not just one, but several similar objects. Distant, mature, element-rich galaxies embedded in a sea of dark matter. Their distribution wasn't random either. They seemed to form a kind of primitive cosmic web, hinting at large-scale structure in the universe that should have taken billions of years to evolve. The gravitational lensing effects observed around these systems further confirmed their mass and distance. These weren't mirages or data artifacts, they were real, ancient, and in complete defiance of everything scientists thought they knew. What truly pushed this discovery into the realm of the horrifying was the suggestion it held about the early universe. If such structured, chemically complex galaxies existed so soon after the universe's inception, then something, some unknown process or physical law, was at play in those first cosmic moments. It raised terrifying possibilities. Was there a phase of hyper-accelerated evolution the current models don't account for? Could there have been a previous universe or multiple feeding matter and information into this one through mechanisms like quantum tunneling or cosmic recycling? Was our universe seeded intentionally, perhaps not as a random consequence of inflation, but by an intelligence or force outside the fabric of known physics? The idea of artificial cosmic engineering, once confined to science fiction, began creeping into scientific discussions. If natural processes could not have formed these galaxies so quickly, then perhaps they weren't entirely natural. The distribution, the scale, and the timing began to look less like accidents and more like outcomes of design. Even more disturbing was a peculiar anomaly in the light curves of several of these galaxies. Embedded within their emissions were periodic fluctuations that defied natural explanation. 
Some speculated they could be gravitational echoes from massive structures or even megastructures interacting across dimensions. Others theorized more radical causes. Perhaps these were signatures, encoded messages even, from a civilization existing before time as we know it began. And yet, this discovery wasn't just about age or structure. In the same region, Webb's instruments picked up high-frequency gravitational waves, ripples in space-time that no known event could account for. These waves carried the fingerprint of something colossal and catastrophic, perhaps a collision between supermassive objects, but again their timing and origin didn't fit the expected model. The gravitational signature suggested an ancient drama, a celestial event so extreme it bent the very laws of physics. It wasn't just one such wave, several were detected, all emanating from a zone corresponding with the mysterious galaxies. Whatever happened there, it was powerful enough to echo through time itself. Perhaps most unsettling was the realization that these anomalies weren't confined to a single region. As Webb extended its gaze, more such structures emerged from the darkness. Whole clusters of early galaxies, organized and massive, each telling the same impossible story. The early universe wasn't quiet and chaotic. It was active, structured, and disturbingly mature. The darkness between galaxies seemed less like emptiness and more like a curtain hiding an unseen architecture. With each new detection, the evidence mounted. The physical constants themselves, the fine structure constant, the ratios governing fundamental forces showed minute deviations in the spectra from these ancient objects. The laws of physics may not be uniform across time and space after all. If these constants were different in the early universe, it implies a mutability of the cosmic order that undermines the entire foundation of physics. Constants aren't supposed to change. And yet, Webb's instruments told a different story, one that pointed to a universe in flux, or worse, one that is being altered in ways we do not understand. Then came the data from Webb's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, which revealed thermal signatures inconsistent with any known natural process. One galaxy in particular exhibited a controlled cooling pattern across its periphery, a phenomenon eerily reminiscent of thermal regulation on a macro scale. There was no starburst activity or supernova event to explain the heat distribution. The entire galactic body seemed to pulse, not chaotically, but rhythmically, as though being modulated. An artificial thermal footprint on the scale of a galaxy, if verified, would represent the most profound technological implication imaginable. It could suggest not only intelligent life, but intelligence operating on a cosmic scale, perhaps older than time itself. None of these findings can be dismissed as observational error. The James Webb Space Telescope was designed with unprecedented sensitivity and precision. Its instruments operate in the deep infrared, allowing it to see through cosmic dust and capture the faintest glimmers of the early universe. Calibration checks, cross-referencing with other observatories, and repeated scans have all reinforced the validity of the data. Every confirmation deepens the mystery. These discoveries force a reckoning. The models that have long served as the scaffolding of cosmology, from the Lambda CDM model to inflation theory, now seem incomplete at best, possibly obsolete. If time moved differently in the early universe, or if it carried imprints of prior cosmic epochs, we may be standing at the threshold of an entirely new understanding of reality, a multiverse, cyclic cosmology, variable physical constants, once fringe ideas, now demand serious consideration. For decades, scientists have worked under the assumption that the universe evolved according to predictable laws, progressing from simplicity to complexity over billions of years. But the James Webb Space Telescope has revealed a universe that was born already advanced, already teeming with structure, and possibly already observed or engineered by forces beyond comprehension. If these galaxies are relics of an earlier cycle of existence, or if they are manifestations of something that breaks the very continuity of space-time, then the entire narrative of our cosmic history must be rewritten. As Webb continues to scan the ancient sky, it becomes increasingly clear that we have barely begun to understand the cosmos. Its cold, silent vastness may hold secrets more profound and more disturbing than anyone dared imagine. We once believed the universe was indifferent, unfolding without purpose or pattern, but the signals from the abyss suggest otherwise. Something immense has left its mark across time, something that challenges the idea of randomness, something that may be watching. The unimaginable has been detected, and nothing in our understanding of the universe will ever be the same. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on what JWST just detected in deep space? 
We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.